Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and I hope you guys are having a awesome day so far and we are back in Spin Tires Moderner today on a level called, it's basically it's a swamp level and the file name for the level is hilarious, it's under, level underscore swamp underscore liquid, it's like, it's, it's, it's weird, you want, you want some of that, that swamp liquid boss, right? So, anyways, regardless, I don't even know if that means anything, if it does, that, that's, uh, I, I kind of hope it doesn't mean anything crazy because then I just said it on camera, but who knows? Who knows? But anyway, we've got two Chevys right here, Banks' Duramax, which this thing has been kind of a kind of a standby for Mudrunner for a long time. It's a really good truck, and Banks has made some awesome, awesome trucks over the uh, over the course of this game. And there, we've got this old K20 as well, and I think we're going to set off in the new truck first, and we'll explore a little bit and see what we can find, and then we'll set off in the old truck, and we'll go the opposite direction. So you've got this custom gate right here that you do have to wait for it to go up. It's not like the normal gates where you can just drive up to them and then they'll like, wham, just go up immediately, but, um... Fair warning, this map does have a couple spots where it'll lag and then it'll go right back to, like, normal pace. Um, you can go straight here or you can go left. I've already been straight, but I think what I'll do is I'll go straight again and I'll show you guys what all is going on here. Because I, I did a little bit of exploring, not too much, but just a little bit before I started recording this video because I wanted to have a general idea, whoa, general idea of what the map was like. And the first thing you come up to is this lumber area. And the way this is set up is really weird because the main way you could do this, right, is you can come around this way, and there's a K700 up there up top, and, well, I gotta line myself up properly first, but there's a K700 up there up top, and I'm not sure what it's supposed to do, I mean, maybe it's, like, supposed to throw the lumber down into here, I don't know if that makes any sense, but that, I mean, I have yet to figure out how that works, and then if you come in here, if you come in here, basically, you have a logs kiosk, and let's say if we were going to do medium logs, oh god. If we were going to do medium logs, you would hold down the middle one, and it would literally drop. And it drops right on top of your truck. Now, I'm not going to deliver any lumber that way, obviously. But it's weird, because I'm not sure how that's actually supposed to work. Now, I kind of want to see if I can go up there, like, just if it'll actually let me just climb this hill. But I, I think it's a bit too vertical for that. What in the- oh my god! Alright, um, never mind. I guess we can do that. So, this K700 being here, I'm not sure what its actual purpose is. I mean, aside from, like, because it's up here up top. You got a loading- what looks like a loading zone down there. And I'm not sure how they actually plan for that to function. I mean, that's just something I'd have to figure- oh, wait a minute. So I guess you pick them up over there, you bring them over here, and then you kind of drop them almost off that edge. Seems a little bit of a, like, a little bit of a sketchy way to load lumber, but, hey, if that's what you're gonna do, then that's what you're gonna do, I guess. So only a little bit of damage taken from doing that whole vertical, uh, ascent and descent. And coming over to this side now, we see that there's another path that goes off here to the right, and basically where this goes is this is if you want to, uh, if you don't want to load the truck yourself, if you want to do it automatically, they punish the crap out of you. And you're, you, you're probably thinking like, oh, well, how are they going to punish you, right? No, 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 no. They really do punish you if you try to go this way. I, it, it's, it's pretty crazy. Like, the mud over here is thicker than pretty much any mud I've ever seen on any other map. Like, it's so, so... Oh my god, like even this truck, which normally doesn't have any issues with mud at all, is having trouble with it. And you know if this truck is having trouble with it, then, then a lot of the other trucks are going to have trouble too. So it, it lets up for a bit, and then it gets really mucky and thick again. So that's something you just need to watch out for. And, and on this map, it's like, you know, I feel like they thought a lot of people would be like, Oh, well I can just go to the log station and load it up automatically. Yeah, see? Like, done. No big deal. But, they've made it so that doing that takes almost just to, ju almost as long as going and loading the truck yourself. So they really want you to load the truck yourself, which I understand, I get why they do it, but at the same time, it's like, come on, don't punish people if they don't want to load the truck themselves. Or, or, or do, I mean, it's up to you, you were the map maker, or if the map maker is watching this video, I mean, it's up to you, you were the map maker, but, whoo, I don't know, man. Alright, you see, yeah, you could do, like, medium logs, long logs, whichever. But I'm gonna actually switch to the K20 now. And we're going to take a slightly different route and see... I got a little bit of an interior view. Not much, though. 
It's funny going from a new Chevy to an older one because this one, it's like the Chevy really has come a long way in a lot of aspects, but in other ways, they still retain a lot of that Chevy look over time. And this truck, it definitely shows that. Now, I've never been down this way before. We're going to rampage through here with these super swampers. Automatic mode doing okay so far. Just absolutely rampaging it. So far, haven't had even a single hiccup. What's this thing like in high? It's about third. Okay, so basically putting this thing in high is like locking it in third, which I get that. I mean, it's, it's like, it's almost, if you think about it in terms of like how, how an automatic transmission would work, it's like, it's like getting up to third gear in an automatic and then locking the torque converter, basically. Oh, God. Oh, little hiccup there. Okay, that was weird. The game tried to hiccup on me, and I was like... Basically, what, what you have to do when that happens is you just have to kind of... You have to give it a second. You have to wait a second, and then it'll go again. I mean, there's a lot of stuff on this map for it to load. It's not a small map. It's actually very large. And, you know, contrary to what you might think, because some of these swamp maps are usually pretty small. Um, they're not the most... They're not the most in-depth maps some of the time, but... So we got, oh, a lumber mill up there and pro possibly a watch point as well. I think I want to head up there and just see what's, you know, what, what's, what's what up there. And let's go ahead and we'll get out of that muck. Now, on, on the pavement, this thing will stay in fifth no problem. It'll probably just carry on in fifth for a hell of a long time. Where are we looking? Oh, God, we got a waterfall right there. That is, that's a hell of a waterfall, too. If I was, like, if I wasn't exploring the map, like, if I was just driving around, like, just, you know, just exploring, um, and I didn't really care whether or not, like, what happened to this truck, I'd probably drive down it. But actually, that other Chevy is recallable, which is really, really good, and that's the stream that connects to the waterfall. I love how they add, you know, I love how they've got some continuity there to the water system, because a lot of maps don't have a lot of continuity to the way the water flows, and... It may seem like a like a pointless detail that's kind of a waste of time when you're making a map, but man, when when that actually like when you notice a pattern to the way the water flows on the map, you go, oh, wow, time went into that. All right, so we got a proper lumber mill up here with a lot of a lot of custom objects. This is where you would drop your lumber off, and then after that, you'd basically head back out of here, back down the mountain. And I'm trying to figure out where the watch point would be. The watch point, I think we're going to have to... The watch point, we're going to have to stick, st like, stick on that back road to find. Or, well... Actually, no, I take that back. I mean, this road keeps going, so... We may not have to go back to the road we were on to get to the watch point. Here's hoping that that's... Uh-oh, uh-oh. I was going to say, here's hoping that that's the case. What is in here? Yo, what even is this? It's all flooded. God, they make you stop before the gate opens. They make you get right up to it and then stop. And I'm not sure why they want you to do that. Oh, we got another another lumber mill right here. Continuing on, it looks like we almost got some, like... We've got some houses. We've got, like, an old... Almost like an old, like, logging town? Not even... Well, maybe not a town, but, like, a little logging neighborhood almost. Those houses are very, very bright. Like, they're super bright. That watch point should be... Oh, there it is! There it is! So this is like a little neighborhood through here. That's cool. I didn't really even expect to find something like this. It's really cool when you find things that you don't expect to find on a map. So that's done. Oh, there we go. So there's a little, like, lake up here. And then I wonder what the deal with those uh, is. But we've got a garage up here, too. And we don't have, you know, we don't have garage points to unlock it with right now. But at least we know where it is. Whoa! 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 Wow, that is a steep, steep edge. Wow, that is steep. I did not think that edge was that steep. I'm very surprised by that. Oh, that, that was, that was, um, moderately terrifying. Oh. All right, so there should be a road over here that we can use as a, as an option to not die in this lake. Come on, go over that edge. There we go. There we go. All right, yeah, so that, we should get, just get back on the road and carry on. Come on, get up to fifth. I know it's going to, oh god, this thing has some understeer to it. I know it's going to cause a little bit of damage if we carry on in fifth, but not super concerned about it. 
little like precision bridge here that you have to be just a little bit of, like a little extra careful but yeah this is where you would oh that's cool it's custom garage i like that you'd have to deliver four garage points here to get it to work but like i mean that's barely a barely a task so let's go ahead and bring the the new chevy out here and it's pretty uh it's pretty well sorted still like i mean it looks fairly 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 new on damage oh my god come on open God, you have to get right up to that thing to get it to open. Like, like this much. Thankfully for us, this thing just gets up to fifth even quicker than the old K20 does. So it just rampages through whatever you put in its path. Including mud, usually, unless the mud is, like, incredibly thick. So we're going to stay... Oh, a little bit of tail out action. I'm okay with that. So we're going to take this thing back to the trail we had before, or well, not really had, but we the trail we were on before, and continue to explore down that way. And I don't know if we'll get the whole map explored in this one video, but if, if we don't, I may make a part two, um, because this map is very in-depth. It's very fun, and it's very interesting. Um, that's why I'm kind of... That's why I'm willing to make a part two to keep exploring this map, because normally I don't make a part two for map exploration, because generally you get a pretty good vibe of what the map has to offer within one part, like about a 15 minute video, but for this map, it keeps throwing curveballs, and it keeps, you know, it keeps revealing more uh, more things that I that are either custom or stuff I haven't seen before, and so that's why I'm, I'm starting to think this map may may need a part two. God, this thing is fast. Through Even through all this mud, it's so quick. Just don't want to give it too much damage. That's the other thing, too, is you don't start out with a garage. So, ooh! A little bridge right here. Oh, I love it when they have road networks that will go, like, you'll have one road going over another road, and you kind of got this loop thing going on. That's so awesome. C4310 right there, which... It looks like, oh yes, needs fuel, but this is where you're going to get some of those garage points from. Utility trailer, oh, another utility trailer there as well, that's cool. So, from here, we're going to want to head, oh wait, we're going to want to head straight. Yeah, straight on, and then we're going to want to make a left towards that next watch point. And then after that, we really only have one more watch point to grab, so... That's definitely, that's definitely some good progress, I think. And while it isn't the biggest map ever, I still consider it big in terms of the mod maps that you see some of the time. Because some of the times, they're really small. There we go. Oh, that's a different texture. I don't recognize that. Keeping her going. Come on. This part of the map seems pretty tame. Like, actually, really tame. Compared to everything else I've found so far. Woo, there was a little bit of little bit of a wiggle at the, <laughs> at the end of that corner there. A little bit of a wiggle, but we can, uh, we, we can, I mean, we can keep up with that. That's no big deal. All right, what do we have here? We have another mill. So this leads to another mill, and we actually passed the watch point. God, I wonder if you have to go, like, if you have to go, like, actually bushwhacking or, like, adventuring to find it, like, off the main path. Which would be fine with me, because I love exploring maps that way. Love it when they make the watch points just a little bit more of a challenge to find. What's up over this hill? Be careful of damage. Be very careful of damage. Oh, it's gonna be... It's gonna be out here. Yeah, it's gonna be down this way. Oh god, this thing's gonna take some damage going through here. I already know we're gonna take some damage. I see it! I see it! God, that's out there in, like, the water almost. I don't even know if there's a road going to it. Nah, that's that's middle of nowhere type stuff. We got a swamp here. We got a little bit of a torn up road right here. And then we've got a mountain. A random out of place mountain. Well, maybe not out of place, but like just a random mountain just chilling. And so we're going to head ahead over that way. See if that mountain actually is of any fun. Uh, or, or worth anything for game, like, for actual, like, gameplay dynamics. And, uh, we'll see if there's... God, this truck's so beat up. I wish the other one was recallable. I genuinely wish the other one was recallable. Come on. Oh, come on. Where's fifth? There we go. They really do not want you driving this thing fast on... 
Okay, so it's just literally just a mountain covered in trees. That's about it. There's there's no trails. There's no nothing. I mean, you can explore it if you want to, but I don't think it's going to be anything uh, anything to write home about exploring. So that watch point currently it looks like it's d almost dead ahead. So we're going to stick with our current course. And if we need to go exploring, like off the beaten path, we definitely will. There's high and then back to automatic again just to try to get it to get up to fifth faster. Ooh, oh god, a little bit of a dr Wow, that was quite a drift. That was quite a drift. We're, there it is. There is our last watch point, people. That we can go ahead and finish off. Awesome. So, we've got one lumber mill up here. We've got six lumber mills on this. Actually, wow, I feel silly. There's two more watch points that I have yet to get. I feel very silly now, but we'll pick this up in the next episode. I mean, obviously, I plan on there being a next episode, and I did, but I didn't realize. I thought that was the last one, and I feel kind of, I feel kind of silly now because, yeah, I said that was the last one when there was like two more left. But if you guys enjoyed this exploration video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see y'all next time. Talk to you guys later.